To new details now in the brutal murder of a 16-year-old Polk County teen. His father, charged with the crime, appeared in court for the first time hours ago. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser has more from the courtroom as family members remain in a state of shock. Just let me know that he passed. You know, that bad things had happened. Murray McDaniel describes his 16-year-old stepson, Stephen Rota, as a great kid, caring, reserved, smart. He still can't believe what happened. Stephen never got in trouble. Always there to help his grandma. I mean, the love he had for his family was strong. You know, so he was family. He loved his family. It's just sad. Detectives say Rada's father, also named Stephen, attacked his son with a power tool, killing the teenager. You're charged with first degree murder. At his first court appearance in Polk County today, Rada made a rambling, incoherent statement about his wealth, his name. At one point, even said he owned the NFL. The judge appointed the 37-year-old a public defender and ordered him held without bond. Family members say they were sickened by allegations Rota made in his arrest affidavit, claiming he killed his son for molesting his younger brother. Don't believe it at all. Our investigation is focused on this mean, evil person who doesn't deserve the air that he's breathing right now. Students at Frostproof High School say there was a moment of silence during this morning's announcements to honor their classmate and offered counseling to anyone who might want or need it. Review the probable cause affidavit. Relatives say Stephen's father was rarely around for his upbringing. They wish he would have stayed away. The boy who was ready to start a job at Burger King next week loved to play video games and was never shy about telling family members he loved them too. Just, we just, we got to take it day by day and from here you know in lake wales eric glasser 10 tampa bay family members say that they are still working on details for a celebration of life ceremony for stephen happening here in the coming days